Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about the end of Battlefront 2 and why it was the biggest mistake by EA that they've made so far. Alright guys, so our first topic of the day is why it was cancelled. As far as we know, they cancelled Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Battlefield 5 to create the new Battlefield 6 game. No, but seriously, when was the last time you heard someone say, I play Battlefield 5? Like, what? Now, as you know, this channel has sort of become a mixed channel, but a lot of the content is starting to be Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's kind of sad because this game still had so much potential even though it rose up so high. Like, imagine seeing Mustafar in this game. That would be crazy. And then having like a dual online mode. That would be sick. Now, some of you are wondering, why would EA cut one of their most successful games, start making Battlefield 6, the, one of the most least anticipated games in the world that's coming out? Now, I'm going to be taking this for myself and from how I know EA. What I'm thinking is that they're going with the Modern Warfare approach, where you buy COD coins and then you can buy these packs. And they give you like pay to win weapons and uh, skins and stuff. And uh, EA thinks they can make a lot more money off of that, which they probably can if it has a decent player base. And I think it's just crappy. Alright guys, now we're going to talk about the state that Battlefront 2 is in at the moment. Currently, Battlefront 2 is at a decent state, but I feel like it could be improved um, if they had a little more time. Like, honestly, I play the game every day. Um, I enjoy it every day when I play it. Um, but there is a little, I don't know, some characters are too OP, some things are messed up. And like, especially Maul and Vader. Like, Vader's super OP at the moment, and then Maul's new skin that he's needed since years ago it's you have to get 5,000 kills to unlock that and it's it's insane it's just crazy I might be a little biased in this video but I mean to be honest I feel like this kind of um play this kind of stuff needs bias guys all right now let's talk about the problem with the mall skin a little bit more um, and it's just mainly about how many kills you have to, um, get with him to unlock the skin that he's needed for so long. And, um, part of it is that, like, it's gonna break the game if you're gonna be pressured to get 5,000 kills with Maul. And you're trying to find a match of Separatist and Co-op. Then the person who gets mall, they aren't gonna die. They're gonna flee until their house is all the way up. And then they come back, fight for, for a little bit, get 10, 15 kills, go back into the little hole, come back out, kill some more people. And you can't blame them for it because that's literally the only way that it's possible. If you lose mall in a co-op match, then another person is gonna scoop it right up. This also causes a problem with maps being unbalanced and not enough real players in them because they're all sitting on mall waiting for the person who has them to die, which they're not going to leave the match. Well, they're not going to leave the screen because if mall does die, then the other person is just going to get it. Um, and then that's going to just cause so many people to be sitting in the lobby waiting for mall. Alright, now let's say you get 50 kills with Maul in a match, and each match takes 20 minutes to complete. And that's even saying if you do get Maul because someone else is sitting on it, or someone else just hides all game, and it's just, it's absolute, it's absolutely chaos, right? So let's say... Each match takes about 20 minutes, you get 50 kills with Maul, you need 5,000 kills to unlock this new skin that he's needed for a year, right? That would take you approximately 2,000 hours of straight playing with Maul in co-op. You need to play 100 matches of 50 kills as Maul.
that's just simply ridiculous. Who would sit down 2,000 more hours, even even saying if you've even played Battlefront 2 for 2,000 hours, which most people haven't, I'm pretty sure I haven't. It's absolutely ridiculous. To sit down and just playing one game mode as one character, 2,000 hours. Alright, and let's see how many days 2,000 hours is. Okay. So, uh, let's say that you're spending a total of 83 days in a single game mode. In a single game, playing as a single character. And you're doing it for 83 days. Need I say more? Um... Yeah, so obviously this was a ploy from EA. Um, this is their excuse to cut the game because it gives them another 83 days to grind for. And I feel like someone needs to change this. Or nobody else, nobody's going to try to get this. It's going to take them 83 days. And this is truly going to be the rarest skin in Battlefront 2. Alright guys. Hope you're in the video. I'm out of here. Rant's over. Peace out. Bye.